Hello Capricorn, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to reading so please keep in mind that this is a general reading. I don't want to resonate for everyone. Okay, for Capricorn, please bear it. What message for Capricorns? Love situation, please bear it for Capricorn. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So abundance, long-term stability, financial stability, love, everything, right? So let's see. Someone see some this with you. You see abundance with someone. For the present situation, we have the Four of Cups. I think someone feels like they missed an opportunity with you. They see all of this with you now. That they did not see in the past. Someone's in a very unhappy place. Yeah, feeling like you're the one that got away here. Why is the Four of Cups here? Why is the Four of Cups? The hangman. So a lot of stagnation, okay? Someone who's viewing things from a different perspective now. Yeah, this person just did not view this potential before this opportunity with you before okay they have a new perspective on things while there's this stagnation between you two could also you know definitely be distance here let's see for the hangman the sun clarity yeah someone's trying to to find clarity someone has been enlightened okay about this connection about you how this connection was actually quite meaningful to them how you were very special to them someone sees happiness you know within this connection happiness with you could be with the leo here yeah someone definitely feels like they missed an opportunity this is like new energy someone who did not see this before so let's see for the Block of potential. The seven of wands. Okay. Someone could have pushed you away. That could, you know, be the block here. They pushed you away because they were focusing on other cups, right? In the past. And so rejected you. Pushed you away. Rejected what you were offering. But this could also be now the potential, right? It's like now... It's reversed. Now they want to fight for this, right? They could have, you know, pushed you away. And now they want to fight for you for this connection. But now you could be guarded, okay? Let's see for the seven of wands. Why is the seven of wands here? The three of wands. Someone here wants to move. Yeah, so there's this hangman, right? They're trying to find some clarity, some en enlightenment. Seeing things differently now. And, and wanting to move, but waiting for the right time. So there's a sense of waiting here, a sense of stagnation, waiting distance. Someone, you know, who's taking a long time, right, to decide what they want, to actually finally realize that they want to be with you within this connection. Why is the Three of Wands here? Why is the Three of Wands here? The Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So it could be you, could be a person. I'm getting this as you though, okay? Because it is under the Sun card. So someone who sees happiness with you, but you have this guarded energy, right? Queen of Swords, you're you're like the no nonsense queen. You don't take any nonsense anymore, okay? You don't you want for this person to come correct? Maybe you have moved on or they feel like you have moved on, right? You're not giving them any more attention. You could have cut communication, given them the cold shoulder. Yeah, I'm getting this as your energy here. And they want to fight for you, right? You might feel that it's hard to reach you at this point because of your energy. So let's see for the recent past. For the recent past... 
the seven of swords so someone was sneaky lies games manipulation someone was up to no good <clears throat> someone was very not reliable so it's non-committal here was yeah definitely pushing you away right running away from this connection toxicity here why is the seven of swords why is the seven of swords the six of wands so this is talks about victory so if you saw victory with your person right and so, yeah, you thought you would see success at the beginning. Things would, you know, lead to this potential, Ten of Pentacles. Or someone could have promised you this, you know. So you just went for that, right? Now, yeah. What I'm getting here, see, I'm seeing the Seven of Wands as the block here. Someone who pushed you away. Someone pushed you away because someone would, would, wanted victory here. I'm getting with someone else. Okay? Yeah, that's why some third party interference here. I'm getting that your person pushed you away, right? So that they could have some sort of victory with another person. Okay? Another situation. Because your person was toxic. I mean, your person was lying to you, right? Your person was sneaky person definitely could have you know could have been cheating here so with that seven of swords yeah why is the six of wands here why is the six of wands here the ten of cups so this was actually a very beautiful connection here yeah i'm really getting that you want a victory within this connection okay i'm getting Two energies with the six of wands okay you wanting victory this happy family right you, you saw success ten of pentacles ten of cups and possibly at some point in time right your person saw the same thing okay it's not that they didn't want to be with you right there's a ten of cups here there was love happiness and emotional fulfillment at some point in time but i'm getting that your person could have definitely rejected you right pushed you away because they wanted victory here ego as well right seven of swords six of wands yeah your person liked attention from others they, they, they like they like to give attention to others yes sense of victory you know your person could have won it all right victory in this connection and victory with other people right another person because seven of swords you know a lot of secrets there behind your back so yeah your person wanted it all here while well, you really were focusing on this connection so let's see for the focus the six of cups while well, your person's focusing on this connection now right feeling like they missed an opportunity and now they want to fight for this yeah your person now wants to fight for this so there's a sense of nostalgia. A person wants to ask you for a reconciliation. Nostalgia, spying, yeah, reminiscing about the past. Where's the Six of Cups here? The Four of Swords, yeah, they're really figuring things out, right? Taking that step back. So a lot of stagnation here. But you know, that Four of Swords, that's all, always the card, you know, the pause before action resting meditating right evaluating things and um for taking action because your person's thinking about a reconciliation here why is the four of swords here and the seven of cups healing as well right yeah healing because someone has options here healing so it could be alcohol addiction whatever's going on in the seven of cups your person's healing your person there's a lot of confusion as well so a lot of things your person is focusing on. They're focused definitely on this connection. They're definitely focusing on you, right? This happiness with you, right? And so, and healing. Third parties, addictions. And also figuring things out. Because there's a lot of confusion here with that Seven of Cups. So, and trying to figure out. Because they could be confused, right? Because the confusion here is 
uh, above this queen of swords, which is you here. So this confusion, it's like, how do I reach Capricorn? Because Capricorn has a, you know, detached energy here, a blocking energy. Now, roles could be reversed, okay, but I'm definitely getting this as you here. So, let's see for the near future. The Ten of Swords. So, someone's in a lot of pain here. Someone's closing cycles of pain. Painful landing, okay? Someone felt betrayed, but someone might want to address this now, right? Unresolved, right? If it's in the near future. Why is the Ten of Swords? The Nine of Swords. See, I'm getting this as your person here. You could also be in a lot of pain, but I'm getting this as your, your person. The guilt, the remorse, right? Going from a Seven of Swords to uh, a Nine of Swords. Someone who was very selfish, didn't think about your feelings. Now they're thinking about your feelings here. And next to the Ten of Swords. So yeah, I'm getting a person could be in a lot of pain, right? But I think someone here regrets the pain that they caused you here. That they caused a lot of pain. That they regret betraying you, right? They regret the way things ended. They could feel responsible for the way things ended. So there's like sleepless nights. Someone's like having sleepless nights here. Full of regret. Why is the Nine of Swords? The Nine of Cups. Someone wants to come towards you and love with love sorry with love yeah someone wants to make amends with you right they want to release this pain between you two the stand of swords between you two cancer scorpio pisces someone still has a lot of love for you here so let's see for they could also be nervous right about this offer how to come towards you how to approach you with this offer of love Let's see for the what you should know. The King of Cups, right? That's the King of Cups. Cancer Scorpio Pisces again. With that offer of love. And you're both next to one another. So your person's trying to be in their heart space right now. To come towards you with love, okay? Now you have a more detaching energy. So you could be in a lot of pain, right? Resentment be angry at this person for what they did for rejecting you for leaving you out in the cold why is the king of cups here the five of wands yeah i think a person wants to resolve these issues your person wants to make amends here right they want to end the conflicts yeah they're very nervous about this about the pain that's what your person's stressing out right the pain, the betrayal, possibly competition, right? That they had, com there was competition here. That they chose someone else over you and that they made a big mistake. Could talk about the conflicts, the arguments between you two. So this, your person's in their heads about this, okay? With the, the guilt, the remorse, feeling really bad about this. Where's the five of wands here? Why's the five of wands? The hierophant. So your person wants commitment here person's thinking about commitment yeah knight of cups with a higher fan could we do with the taurus so it's focusing on commitment here yeah there could have been competition in this commitment right so i'm getting your person wants to end that without four swords okay let's see for the outcome the seven of pentacles yeah your person seeing potential right your person yeah this is right above the king of pentacles the king of cups sorry and this is the seven of pentacles this is definitely so them seeing this opportunity with you that they did not see before right the potential yeah new energy something new because now they want this ten of pentacles really badly here why is the seven of pentacles here the star so hoping wishing right to be with you so they're up in their heads in this nine of swords but the whole time right 
focusing on you with the six of cups wanting a reconciliation hoping daydreaming your person is intensely thinking about you here and they the opportunity that they miss the chance that they missed with you so could be with an aquarius so they're really like putting you on a pedestal here yeah i don't think this person saw anybody sees anybody above you right now why is the star here why is the star here and that six of pentacles so do they want to see you yeah they want that equal give and take so your person wants to see you and you know i think that with that six of pentacles well they see you as very special right with a star you're it right and they want this equal give and take they want to come towards you with an offer of love they want reciprocity so hopefully i think this person with a star hopes that you will also right reciprocate and show them love yeah there could be fears about that right with the nine of swords they hope that you know you're going to reciprocate you're going to be receptive you're not going to be that queen of swords in this queen of swords energy you're not going to like push them away because they pushed you away right if you're not you're going to do the same thing to them push them away okay if they come towards you with an offer so they're hoping for this reciprocity yeah because they're hoping that you feel the same way about them because your person's definitely clearly still you know holding on to you in this connection here even though there's a lot of stagnation and distance here so it's up to you <clears throat> capricorn okay if you want this you have free will so i hope it resonated with you i hope you enjoyed it reading take care bye